مرحبا انا اسمي زايا This is Arabic easy for all beginners basic Arabic courses lesson 1 part 4 الف باء تاء تاء double signs Four of the Arabic alphabet scores will deal with all characters in a very easy manner. In a way, students will focus mainly on how to write basic academic double signs above or below the letters to be able to pronounce Arabic easier. Double fatha are double short signs. Written on top of the letter, indicating that the consonant is followed by a doubled short N sound, while the tone produced ends with N sound. Doubled kasra are doubled short strokes. Written down of the letter, denoting that the consonant is followed by a double short in sound, while the tone produced ends with n sound. Double dhamma are double signs written on top of the letter, denoting that the consonant is followed by a double short. Un sound, while the tone produced ends with n sound. Double signs are always put at the end of the word. In doubled fatha, we say an, ben, ten, then. In double dhamma, we say un, bun, tun, thun. And in double kasra, we say in, bin, tin, thin. Let's go to details. In its final word position, doubled fatha on alif is pronounced an, like in the example sagir which means small or young. Double dhamma on alif is pronounced un. Like in the example, buka un, which means to cry. Another double fatha on NF, like in the example, jami'an, which means u. In its final word position, double dhamma on ba is pronounced bun. Like in the example, قلبن, which means heart. In its final word position, double dhamma on ta is pronounced tun. Like in the example, bay tun. Double kasra on ta is pronounced tin like in the example jamiyatin khayriyatin which means the charity association also doubled kasra on ta and the word quwwatin 
which means the force. In its final word position, the word dhamma on th is pronounced thun. Like in the example thun, which means research. Before we finish, here is a minute vocabulary building list. So please repeat after me. Banjarno Burtukal Bundukia Tun Jubn Jalid حبر حديث بئر تلوث صار تاج حية Did you get this part easily? It is time to learn them by heart. Just keep repeating them loudly that you hear yourselves saying them correctly and discover the beauty of your sounds. Don't forget to repeat writing them as well 10 times, 20 times, 100 times. Why not? A PDF writing worksheet to help you exercise writing them is on the website link underneath this video. See you later, inshallah, in lesson 2, part 1, the alphabets. Jim, Ha, Kha. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. See you next time, inshallah. Fi amanillah.